Measurements and Scientific Notation. All right, so as we've discussed previously, chemistry is quantitative. And since we're gonna be dealing with quantities, we wanna to learn to write uh, numerical values in um, convenient notation. So we're gonna to talk today about two different kinds of notation. One is standard notation and the other one is scientific notation. Now, quantities have two parts. There's the number part and then there's the unit part. Now, the number part tells us how many. That's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to look at units later on. So standard notation, this is something that you are probably already very familiar with. So these are just the standard you know, ways to write numbers in everyday life. They can have decimals, so we can see that. Uh, they can have commas to separate out the zeros like in 18,000 or just the number 25. That's uh, standard notation and it can be cumbersome in science because you need a large number of zeros uh, to place non-zero numbers in the proper position. And that happens often enough that we need an easier way to write really large and really small numbers um, conveniently. And so that's where scientific notation comes in. Now, scientific notation is basically an expression of a number using powers of 10. And so we use this to express numbers that have many zeros. So, um, so for instance, so here's a power of 10, there's 10, and then it's to the zero power, Anything to the zero power is one. 10 to the first power is 10. 10 to the second power is 10 times 10, which is 100. 10 to the third power is 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. 10 to the fourth power is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 equal to 10,000. And then we could keep on going. 10 to the fifth power is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 or 100,000. And so basically, that number here that is raised um, to a power, that's called the exponent. And that exponent's value is always gonna be equal to the number of zeros um, in the number expressed in standard notation, okay? Now, we can also use standard uh, scientific notation to write really, really small numbers. And we're going to use negative exponents for that. So 10 to the minus 1 is 0 0.1, okay? Or 1 tenth. 10 to the minus 2, 0 0.01 or 1 one hundredth. To the negative 3, 0 0.001 or 1 one thousandth. And you can see it follows the same pattern except it's a fraction. Now, the negative exponent implies a decimal number less than 1. And so basically, um, same thing here, the value of the exponent is equal to the number of zeros in the denominator in the fraction, okay? So get familiar with those, and then I'll show you a little bit easier way to deal with this uh, later on. Okay, so how do we write scientific notation? So the first thing we wanna do is write our number so that it has a value between one and 10. And, um, and this is called the coefficient. So we're gonna write the first non-zero digit, then we're gonna write a decimal, play, a decimal point, and then we're gonna write the rest of the digits. And so this is called the coefficient. Then we're gonna figure out how many powers of 10 we need to multiply it by to make that number into the original number. And then finally, we are gonna multiply that written number, the coefficient, by the proper powers of 10. So here's an example. So we're gonna write 79,345 in scientific notation. So here's our number, and we're gonna write it, here's the coefficient now. Now, what I like to do is count. So I'm gonna pretend there's a decimal place here, and I'm gonna move the decimal place to the left until I get to you know, this between one and 10, so our coefficient. So one, two, so one, two, three, four, okay? So we have 7.9345 times 10 to the fourth power. So see what I did there? So no matter what this is, I'm gonna pretend there's a decimal place there. One, two, three, four, 7.9345 times 10 to the fourth power. And that is our number in scientific notation. 
So we're going to do a few more examples uh, later on in the presentation. For small numbers, we use the same process, but now that power of 10 is negative, okay? So here is um, 0 0.000411, and we want to write this in scientific notation. Now, we have a decimal place here. See the decimal place between these two zeros? That zero doesn't matter, but I'm going to move the decimal place now. One, two, three, four, until I get to a number that's between one and 10, okay? And since I moved it one, two, three, four places to the right, that is my exponent. So 4.11 times 10 to the negative four. Now this just refers, these extra zero digits at the end or beginning of a number are generally not included. So that would be this guy right here. But these are important because these three zeros show the relative magnitude of that number. So one, two, three, four, we have our coefficient and we've moved it to the right, and so we have a negative exponent. Now this slide basically just puts in words what I just did on the previous slide, because this is the way that I like to write small numbers into scientific notation. So uh, basically we're gonna count the number of decimal places it takes to move the decimal to after the first non-zero number, okay? And if we move that decimal to the right, that means that our exponent is negative. So one, two, three, four, and we're gonna get 4.11 times 10 to the negative four. Okay, so now it's practice time. So we're gonna write these numbers in scientific notation. So take a few minutes, write them out, give it a shot, even if you're not sure it's right, just try it, and then, um, and then we'll check the answers in just a second. Okay, so let's start with 306,000. Now that's a big number, it would be nice to write that in scientific notation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretend that there's a decimal place here after this last zero, and I'm gonna move the decimal place to the left. And I'm gonna move it until I get to a number between one and 10, okay? So one, two, three, four, five. So 3.06 is now our coefficient and I moved it one, two, three, four, five places. So my, my power of 10 is five, and it's positive five because we wanna take this little number and make it into this big number as it was originally. So the number in scientific notation is 3.06 times 10 to the fifth power. So now let's do a little one, okay? 0 0.00884. So again, we're gonna move the decimal place until we get between these two eights so one, two, three. So we have 8.84 times 10 to the negative three. We moved it three places to the right. And so that gave us um, 10 to the negative three. All right, 2,760,000. So we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did with the previous large number. So I'm gonna pretend there's a decimal place here after the last zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna have 2.76 times 10 to the six. So since I moved it six places. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, one thing you can do is you can always check yourself. You can do 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, and then multiply that by your coefficient and see if you get the, the original number. And if you do, uh, then you've written it correctly. So let's do one last small one. So here's my decimal place and I'm gonna move it till I get between these two fives. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, moved it seven places to the right and we get 5.59 times 10 to the negative seven. All right, so good job. Now, entering scientific notation in a calculator is not necessarily trivial. So um, you wanna make sure that you have a good method for doing this. Uh, you wanna know how to correctly enter into your specific calculator, because they're all gonna be different. So I'm not gonna necessarily know what calculator that you have. So, um, so you wanna get you know, the, the instructions for your calculator, you can find those online, um, and then you're gonna learn how to put that in there. Another thing that I like to do is I'll, like let's say I have to multiply two numbers that are in scientific notation together. I like to put the first number in the calculator in scientific notation, 
and then I press equal and that stores it and then I'm going to press multiplied by and then my second number in scientific notation and um, that works really really well for me but the thing that you want to do is um, as we go through the course and you have examples practice putting those into your calculator and make sure that you get the same the same answer because if you don't then you want to figure out what's going wrong and um, and so again you know let me know if if you need help with that but uh, but definitely checking the instructions or online for your calculator model that's going to help a lot and definitely practice the numbers in this presentation all right so our summary. So basically we're all familiar with standard notation. We probably don't call it that, but um, that's just the normal expression of a number. Um, our scientific notation expresses a number as a coefficient times a power of 10. Now that power of 10 is positive for numbers greater than one and negative for numbers uh, between zero and one. So basically less than one. Um, and so you wanna practice converting between scientific notation and standard notation until you can do it easily.